Hey guys, my name is Stan and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pro-Grade Thunderbolt 3 single card slot reader for CF Express Type B. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at how fast we can actually get on performance with a CF Express card and talk about if you should pick one of these things up. Up until now, I've been using this card reader right here. This is also a pro grade card reader. This is the CF Express Type B and SD combo, so it's got both. And this is a USB Type C. I think it's like a 3.1 Gen 2 or 3.2 Gen, I'm actually not sure, but it's the 10 gigabit per second interface. And it's been pretty good, but I've noticed that on some really, really nice fast CF Express cards, uh, you're actually uh, pushing past the capabilities of this card reader. So that's where this comes in. Out of the box here, you've got the card reader and the Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, again, this is not a USB card reader. This is a Thunderbolt 3 card reader and you have some literature and a little warning here. So this warning that says that uh, you must download the XQD driver for Sony in order for this card reader to work with XQD cards. Uh, if you didn't know already, XQD cards are very similar to CF Express Type B cards physically. They're, they're identical, um, but XQD cards came first and I guess uh, CF Express, they uh, adapted it. So. Effectively, they're very similar, but you do need some software just to make sure that everything works properly. Now, so this is a CF Express Type B and XQD card reader via Thunderbolt 3. Physically here, clearly you can see a large difference in size. Um, I'm not exactly sure why you need such a big enclosure. Uh, I don't know if it's just hardware inside you need some more processing or whatnot for Thunderbolt 3 but um, one interesting thing that I already noticed right off the bat is that when you slot the CF Express card and it actually is completely flush with the front um, and it's a little got a little spring loaded so you, uh, effect so you push down and it pops right out while on the USB version it kind of just sticks right out uh, and the SD card also sticks out so what we'll do is I will fire this up and connect it to my MacBook Pro and we'll take a look at what kind of speeds we get on AJA disk test. And for this test here, I'm also using a ProGrade CF Express Type B card. It's the Cobalt 325 gigabyte card, which has a 1700 megabytes per second read, 1500 megabytes per second write and it's advertised to have a very high sustained write speed. So for the test here, what I've got is a 4K Ultra HD, 16 gigabytes, have the RGB file pointed towards reading and writing off of the CF Express card. Uh, you can see here writing right around high 20, uh, 1200 megabytes per second, pushing almost 1300 megabytes per second. Reading is a solid 1500. So, um, it also kind of depends on what kind of uh, file format you're writing and what you're writing, but that those numbers are actually pretty close to the advertised 1500 and 1700 megabytes per second. So pretty good. And just to give you a little bit of perspective here to take a look at how it, this same card performs in the USB version, the USB also does pretty good, but you have to realize that uh, it's limited by the 10 gigabits per second. So if I put it back in again, do the same exact test. What we get here is a solid 950 megabytes per second write, 950 megabytes per second read. Uh, this is flat out maxing out the capabilities of the card reader. So clearly, uh, you know, that's what told me that I had some additional overhead uh, capabilities in the card that the card reader, the USB card reader wasn't provided me so that's why I ended up picking this thing up right here now let's talk about if you should pick up the Thunderbolt 3 version or the USB version and here are my thoughts here if you are 
uh, perfectly fine with pushing 950 megabytes per second on a USB card reader and you want perfect compatibility with all your devices, Mac, PC, uh, whatever that all have on USB type uh, USB 3 type C go with the USB version and you also have the SD card built in as well however if you want the best performance the max performance uh, that's where this comes in and you might have some difficulties with uh, compatibility on Windows or some some computers just might not have Thunderbolt 3 someone's at the door all right, where was I? I think I was saying something about compatibility. Um, if you aren't in an all Mac ecosystem or you have Windows computers and, and, and computers that may not have Thunderbolt 3 and that might be a concern, that's where, uh, you know, again, go back to the USB card reader here. I think this is gonna be a little bit more interesting going forward because uh, as Intel adopts USB type, uh, USB 4, which is type C, and Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 4 being Thunderbolt 3 backwards compatible, a lot more computers, laptops, and whatever are gonna have USB 4 and thus be compatible with this card reader. So uh, going forward, I think compatibility should improve and the use of this can be a little bit more easily justified. One very interesting little thing about this card reader, actually both card readers, is that there's a magnet on the back of this. So if you have a metallic PC case, and this is right out of frame, but if you can imagine here, this is a, this is a steel chassis. Uh, it's got a very strong magnet that sticks to whatever that's metal. So you can stick it to the back of your laptop if it's not aluminum, but you know, if it's steel or if you got a PC case that's metal, you can stick it to your computer. Um, you know, it's got pretty strong magnet. So that's kind of an interesting feature. Anyway, this is just a quick, quick look at the ProGrade uh, Thunderbolt 3 CF Express card reader. Uh, I'll make sure to link everything in the description down below with my affiliate links. If you want to support this channel, those are for you to use. Uh, if not, that's fine. And if you found this video useful, hit that like button if you can. And if you want to see more, always you can always subscribe. As always, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.